Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is October 5th, 2014. And we're in Bluffton in Hampton Hall, the uh, gated golf community on the uh, Buckwalter Parkway with the uh, custom homes like the one you're seeing here. This one is 276 Farnsley Avenue. We're here to preview it. I think you're, you'll like it. We're going to walk through it and around it, see if it could possibly be for you. It's a David Weekly home. It's what they call a custom classic. It's a home which is ready to move into because they know that you can't necessarily wait six, seven, eight, nine months to build and move into the home you'd like. So they've taken some of their most popular plans, including this one, and uh, it's ready to go. So um, we're going we're gonna to see if it's for you. It has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a two-car garage. It has a front and back porch. Uh, big oversized two-car garage, by the way. And the three bedrooms are all on the ground level. The fourth one is up over the garage there and with a bathroom. And this home is listed with Carson Realty. And I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with... 39 years of Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience. Let's just take a quick look along Farnsley Avenue here before we go in and see this house. This is a beautiful community, ladies and gentlemen. It has uh, optional private golf on the uh, Pete Dye golf course. Uh, and included, however, for all owners are the uh, indoor and outdoor um, swimming pools. Uh, the hard true tennis courts, the hard tennis courts, you have a playground, bocce courts, a basketball court, big 22,000 square foot clubhouse uh, with uh, private dining, and of course a 24 hour guarded security entrance. And again, my name is Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H, and my company is Go Gated Realty. And I'm the gated community specialist both Gated Community Specialist and Go Gated Realty are federally registered trademarks. Well, all right then. Let's uh, just uh, take a look at this house more closely. It has a concrete driveway and parking area here. Big oversized garage. You're going to uh, see uh, the type of garage that many people want. A lot of uh, buyers that I work with, and again, I'm showing you this house as a buyer's agent working for you. It doesn't cost you anything more to have a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen. I'll talk more about that later later on. Uh, a lot of people want to have extra space in their garage for a workbench, uh, for a golf cart, for storage. You'll see that there's plenty of it here. Now also, this is a bit of a traditional plan in that it does have a covered front porch. Well, that is uh, uh, it brings up, <laughs> you can imagine, the, you don't have to imagine the rocking chairs there on the front porch because there's a couple there for you. <laughs> Power of suggestion, both front and back porches, gives you a little bit more of a traditional look. Uh, and that also provides passive solar because one of the things that uh, David Weekly uh, does well is he builds a very energy efficient house. And uh, so the front porch, of course, keeps sun off your windows and uh, that's just the passive part of it. You'll see when we go up into the attic, there's radiant board up there, new generation products and insulation. We'll go into that when we see it. Beautiful front door here with uh, the glass panes and the side uh, uh, windows there, letting lots of light into your foyer and a beautiful hanging lamp overhead. This house has hard coat stucco, which is very popular here in the low country. And we have some uh, Savannah brick steps. Just two of them, maybe three here, leading up to the front door. The entire house is on slab. It's an elevated slab, which means concrete. No crawl space under this house, which is what we, we don't want a crawl space, ladies and gentlemen, because there are problems associated with many houses that have crawl spaces. It's not unanimous, but when you're on slab, you're safer. Don't have to worry about any kind of varmints under your house or mildew or that sort of thing. Well, anyway, here we are. We're in the, uh, in the foyer now. And if you're among so many people that want to have a wood floor in your home, well, this one has it. It's what, what's called the hand-hewn style of wood floor, very popular. 
My buyers, I think, unanimously say how much they like it. And you go back into the living area there through that archway, very attractive, and just softens the lines up just a bit. Here's our foyer ceiling with crown molding right around. Of course, the house has high, flat ceilings throughout. And immediately on your left, heading towards the living area, is your home office. So if I said there were four bedrooms, I hope I also said it has an office. Here it is. It has these double doors that uh, lead in here. Notice how the wood floor comes right on in as well. Very common in a Hilton Head house to have the office immediately to the left or right of your front door. And you know, it's great to have four bedrooms and an office because so many couples that I show homes to, uh, they start out saying, well, we need two bedrooms and a den, that sort of thing. But as we talk more, it turns out that both he and her have, he and she have um, need offices. They need hobby spaces, personal spaces. So this is then four bedrooms plus a den. This is a type of plan that I think a lot of you are really looking for. And um, we'll see as we go along. Now this, uh, this kind of country southern uh, wainscoting is sometimes called judges paneling, but it's just a high boarded wall which gives you kind of a country or southern look. It's very popular in this area. Some people might call this a, uh, a craftsman style as well because of the uh, square edges on this wood that can be ripped on site rather than coming from a mill and highly milled and polished and fancier I guess you might say. Well. You have plenty of fancy in this house in the, in, in the, in the terms of the woodworking, which is just um, uh, this style of country, southern country woodworking. Well, your floor plan is clearly open and informal because here's our kitchen immediately to the left with a big island. It has all the features that people are looking for these days, the granite countertops, the uh, wood paneled cabinets, your tile backsplashes, your stainless steel appliances are all here, all in an open floor plan because the buyers that I work with just say again and again that they want open, light, and bright. Open, light, and bright. And this house has it. David Weekly uh, has uh, very good floor plans in his homes and uh, they know the types of things that buyers are looking for. And, I have to agree, this is uh, spot on in terms of mainstream uh, demand. You notice the dining room there has the high paneled walls that go right on around. You have those high windows for both privacy and light, looking very good. And you have a cluster of windows and even a swinging door here to the back. And out back we have a golf course view. We are on the golf course here. We'll take a quick look out there and give you a little sneak preview. I'm not sure which fairway it is, but it's a uh, beautiful golf view. And again, that is the optional, uh, you can get an optional membership here. That is a private Pete Dye golf course with the optional membership. So you have all the benefits of being in a golf course community without having to pay golf course prices, I guess you could say, unless you want to. Now the uh, living room is right here with the fireplace. Many of my buyers enjoy having a fireplace, although in this climate, semi-tropical, it is optional. But for many of you, especially from the north, having a fireplace is like having a home. So David Weekly knows that, and there's, there it is. Well, let's take a closer look at this kitchen, this beautiful island here. Now, this home is ready to go. I don't think it'll be here too long because homes in this price range generally tend to sell pretty quickly. 589,990 is the price. But if you would like to build a home, uh, this home or one very much like it, obviously perhaps modified, maybe not, well, you would choose all your own uh, cabinets. You would choose with them your granite, you would choose uh, whether or not you wanted uh, stainless steel appliances or some other kind of appliance. Here's your stainless steel bin with this swan neck uh, kitchen uh, faucet with the extender, the rinsing extender. And 
our pantry in the corner there is uh, very good sized. Let's take a look at that. Lots of wire shelving there for us. And the wood floor just keeps on coming. Looking very nice. You have excellent tile work here behind your countertop. Some people call that a subway tile style. <laughs> There's our energy efficiency reminder. And we'll see that again and again. This is a model home, ladies and gentlemen, so they have their sales data, their sales information out here, giving you all the features of the home. This is sometimes called a staggered uh, um, cabinet pattern where you have high and lows instead of just going straight across. People like that. And this has a little bit of a, um, a touch to it, this kind of antique uh, glaze to it. People like that. They like the dark handles. All of the things that people generally want are in this house already. Many of them are options that you pay up for. Well, uh, here they are, ready to go for you. Beautiful foyer, our office there on the right. Let's just turn around and review. There will not be a test at the end of this video, just an invitation to call me for more information. And you may notice here at the back of this living room, this telescopic door, that can cascade to the right one piece on top of the next to give you a wide open, um, oh, it would be then wide open to your living room. And if you were to screen this exterior here, which can be done very easily, then that would just bring all of the outdoors right on into your house in this uh, section. You do have a bit of a water view over here to the left, some beautiful trees. We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Let's go see the master bedroom. It's off to this side here, between the fireplace and the back wall. And uh, I might just mention, you do have an indent there for cabinet or media, whatever you like. Over the fireplace is also wired up for your TV. Some people like that up over the TV. And you do have crown molding. You may have noticed it goes right around the ceiling giving the room a nice, a rich look, good word working, and every room is either has a ceiling fan or it's wired for a ceiling fan. 52 inch ceiling fan is a very good idea to increase your comfort, your energy efficiency, and I think everybody should have that. Now we're gonna see a few pieces of uh, blue tape on the walls as we come around the house here. Those are simply the punch list touch up items. This is a brand new house, ladies and gentlemen, brand new. They still have to come in and do the punch, punch list, so you'll see a few of those pieces of blue tape here and there, meaning come and touch it up. This is a, uh, your fireplace, beautiful hearth, very interesting stonework around the, uh, around the fireplace, and that is a glass front on there with some gas logs, and technically it's propane. This is not a gas community, but you do have a propane tank that's buried out in the yard. And that's what you would uh, then access to get your wood-burning fireplace. Actually, your, your, those are gas logs, so it is a real fireplace. It's just it uh, burns the gas logs, which most people prefer around here. Now, here's our master bedroom, and it has this sitting area at the far end. Here's your headboard over here, or rather your long wall for your headboard of your bed. Plenty of room here for just about any kind of furniture, I think. It's a light and bright room, and of course it accesses this beautiful golf view. Off to the far end there would be your sitting area. Lots of people like to have a place to sit and read and rest. So you have room for all your furniture. And once again, you have this beautiful golf course view. Maybe, if, maybe even if you're not a golfer, you might appreciate having the wide open space and the big sky your neighbors are good ways away across the fairway there. And by the way, the golf, court, the golf cart path is what I'm trying to say, is on the other side of that fairway. Well, let's take a look at this bathroom. I think you're gonna like it. It's at an angle, very stylish with the double doors. And you may notice that this house has all tall doors, solid panel doors and the lever handles with that dark metal coloring that is so popular these days. Here's our bathroom with the beautiful tile floor, beautiful tile work, excellent quality throughout this house. 
our water closet here to the left with the commode. We have a separate tub and shower. Tile work looking very good. That dark metal frame on our shower, very popular. You have a window in your bathroom letting in light and um, uh, they are all, by the way, in this house, vinyl clad windows. Those are interior flat mullions for easy care over time. You'll never have to paint them because it's vinyl clad, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, that is uh, very durable. Your garden tub is over here with the tile splash around the outside. Here's our vanity for him and for her. The granite top, the, uh, the darker brown cabinets with those dark pulls. And you have a dual uh, basin at the top there with the hanging wall mirrors, a little sconce light with a looks like a touch of alabaster glass style to it. And of course, with these granite countertops, you have the undermounted sinks, the stylish plumbing there, the stylish faucets looking very good. Over here, we have our linen closet with the wire shelves. And something which is uh, we see quite a bit in a David Weekly house are these huge walk-in closets. Before we go there, I just wanted you to get another look at this beautiful master bedroom with the ceiling fan, the crown molding, the uh, multiple windows letting in lots of light. And yes, from this angle, I see that you have a really lovely water view there. I'm going to just show that to you again. You know, people like water. They love uh, trees. This community uh, has a lot of mature trees. It is a custom home community. Beautiful house, beautiful house. Well, I, I was just about to show you this large um, master bedroom closet, and here it is. Uh, this is <laughs> just, hope, I guess oversized would be an adequate description. And it can even be more efficient with uh, different space maker products here, which you can always add. This is uh, as big as a bedroom in some, some houses that I show for sure, <laughs> but it is your walk-in closet. Uh, you might call it your wardrobe room. It's absolutely fantastic. It's everything that most people want. It would be for him and her. And an additional smart uh, feature to this floor plan is how it connects through to your laundry room. So here is your laundry room with the tile floor. We're circling around to the front of the house here. Washer and dryer are not included. You provide your own. And over that washer and dryer will be this set of cabinets. Good idea. You see a lot of houses just have a wire shelf there. Well, a set of cabinets is much better. It hides all your soap and your laundry needs. Here's a bit of a transition area going out to your garage, which is that door straight ahead. We're not quite there yet. Let's get reoriented here. Let's take a look back into the living room. There we are. See, we went around the back right side there and came out here on the near right side. Well, as we are in this front section, we have our third bedroom here at the front. This is to the right side of the front door. The room to the left was our office. And we have a closet there. We have a pair of over-under windows there. Lots of light, lots of light. Flat ceiling with the light fixture. Easy to trade out for a fan, ladies and gentlemen, as long as the wiring is there. We have this little area here that separates the spaces. Here's our second bedroom to the side of the house. Once again, with a pair of windows very nice woodworking around, wood sills, very good finished, rich look to this uh, house. And uh, if I didn't mention the high baseboard, I'll do that now. Uh, it goes along with this country look to see that high baseboard. Gives the room a real rich look that a lot of people like. This room has a walk-in closet too. And certainly for a second or third bedroom, this is more than adequate. This is uh, luxurious for sure. And this room has a private bathroom. And we have uh, tile floors here. 
it either is limestone or it's ceramic that looks like limestone. It's very good looking, I'll tell you that. These new products, you know, some of them will fool you, but I, I think that's ceramic. Here we have the granite countertop with the undermounted sink or basin. Very attractive bath hardware there. We have our hanging uh, our mirror and our tub with the tile work going straight on up. This is again the second bedroom with the private bath. So we have three bedrooms here on the first floor. The master at the back right. We have our second bedroom that we're standing in now on the middle right. And then we have the third bedroom just across the way there. We were in that just a moment ago. Let's take a look out into the garage before we go upstairs. That's where our fourth bedroom is upstairs. And this is this big oversized garage. Uh, it's, a, it's what sometimes is called a finished garage. And you have an automatic door opener with the uh, two car garage there. And you have this huge amount of space here between the garage doors and the house. It's uh, 15, 16 feet or so. Uh, it's quite a space there and uh, really makes this a very uh, versatile garage for sure. Your side door out to your service yard. Your service yard is where your heat pump is located. You know, nothing like a new house, ladies and gentlemen, because your heat pump is brand new. It, uh, gonna, it's gonna last in this climate about 14 years. Brand new heat pump, brand new appliances. Brand new building materials, uh, water heater, appliances, everything brand new. This is why people oftentimes want a brand new house. They just know that it's more practical. They don't have to deal with any replacements or other issues for many years. And certainly uh, this house is providing what most people are really looking for. Well. Over here is your water heater in the garage. It's elevated, so if you ever have a problem there, it won't flood your house. It'll just flood your garage. I doubt that that'll happen anyway. And a wash bin, a very practical thing to have, so you don't have to do those messy jobs in the house. You can clean up in the garage. And so just a few steps again, and we're back into the house. This transition area here, when you come in, is uh, Really a nice feature. I like this woodwork here too. Hang your jacket, put something on the shelf, maybe down here, your golf shoes, your golf bag, who knows? It's whatever you like. Well, the fourth bedroom is upstairs and let's go see that right now. This is a very large room with a bathroom, which is why it qualifies in every way as a bedroom if you wanted to. Now, some people would call this also a bonus room because directly over the middle of the house, like this, it's finishing off the space which is already here, making the best use of it. Well, you have a trio of over-under windows here across the back. And this room has this beautiful view of the golf course. And of our water. Get a better view of our water over here. A lagoon, there it is. And again, that golf course can be very entertaining for many of you. And the golf club is optional, as I said before. So if you're not a golfer, you don't have to buy. You don't have to buy the golf membership. You don't have to pay for it. The, uh, the regime fee here is $3,606 a year. Um, and in the private golf course communities, so many of them, it's 12, 13, 14,000 a year. You don't have to pay those high fees. One of the reasons that Hampton Hall is so popular is because you have all the beautiful homes that people want, but without the really high fees. Well, now here's our fourth bathroom. And you can see the quality continues, the high quality continues with the tile floor, our granite top, just as we've seen before, our tile surround on our Bathtub, a couple of pieces of blue tape there, looking to be touched up. Not a problem. They're on it. They're on it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look in the um, let's look in the attic here. We're going to see a couple of interesting things in here. Now, in the world of attics, 
uh, walk in attics are better than climb up into attics. Now, many people, when I'm showing homes, how do you get to the attic? And of course, after you get over the fact that we don't have basements around here, <laughs> you want to know how do you get to the attic? Well, many, many homes have pull down stairways, other have little hatches, you have to bring up a, uh, a, um, a step ladder to get into. Well, in the world of attics, walking into your attic is as good as it gets, and that's what you have here in this home. You walk directly from this bonus area into your attic area, and this has several advantages. One is you don't have to pull up a step ladder or climb up some uh, stairway. The second is that you can uh, bring your um, uh, boxes and so forth into the storage area most easily. Uh, what we're looking at here is the blown insulation, which is the new generation insulation instead of fiberglass bats. My understanding is that it actually gives a, a higher R factor and it is a better thermal efficiency because it, it fills in the little spaces all around the holes in the ceiling that otherwise would provide uh, a problem for heat loss and energy efficiency. A second uh, product that we're seeing up here is this thermal board, or what is sometimes called a radiant board. That's that shiny aluminum looking board that you see there. It's against the roof deck. And what that does is it keeps the heat out of your attic. For it keeps your attic from getting hot. And because of that, your ceiling down below here uh, does not get so hot. And so therefore you save money on your utilities and you're more comfortable. So that's the way that works. Over here, this is your air handler, uh, your uh, heating and air system here in a coastal Hilton Head home, has your heat pump outside, your air handler inside. This air handler is essentially like your fan system. It blows all the air through the house and uh, the dual coil system outside and inside provides your heat and cooling exchange. Uh, I'm not a heating and air tech by any means, but that's in a nutshell how it works. It's uh, very, very efficient for this uh, climate. And like I say, these systems last about 14 years. This one is brand spanking new. That's what you'd like. You have a long way to go before any repairs there. And you do also have a lot of uh, storage area here. So they've, uh, they've given you uh, quite a bit of a platform here. Very comfortable in the attic easy to get to your mechanical accesses as needed and to store whatever you want. Well, this is uh, quite a house, quite a house. Um, I'll just mention too, you do have a closet. Another thing that makes a room a bedroom is to have a closet, and there it is. It's simple, but it's here. I think a lot of people would use this as a game room or perhaps a, a, a I don't know. It's whatever you'd like to use it for. It's so versatile. Well, your colors are the uh, house is already painted in the colors that people like, the white trim, the soft beige walls. This is what people are looking for these days. Let's just step out back. We'll walk around. I'll give you my contact information and ask that you give me a call. Uh, drop me an email. Let's work together to find the uh, right home for you. And um, if this one is no longer available, well, maybe we can have uh, David Weekly build one for you. Or we'll just uh, talk about what options are available to us and work together to, to find the right option for you. A beautiful house here. This is a beautiful site, beautiful community, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this is 276 Farnsley Avenue. The price, again, $589,990. If I didn't say so already, it has 2,951 square feet. All right, well, let's just take a look around. You have a sodded yard here. Very quiet back here, very quiet. Very quiet, beautiful spot. This is the type of house that so many people are looking for these days. Most everything on one level, but a lot of people say it's okay to have a little bit upstairs. You, know, you just don't want to have to be dealing with a lot of steps, especially if you're in the retirement mode. So let's just walk around. Well, we've already seen this side of the house. We'll, we'll go around the other side. We'll, we'll go around the other side. We saw that side from the service yard. So uh, I, I said I'd give you my contact information. Well, again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D. 
E S C H. And my cell number is 843 684 2933. That's 843 684 2933. My email rich at gogated.com. That's R I C H at G O G A T E D.com. And my website is gogated.com, like gated communities. And you can search all the properties on Hilton Head Island that are for sale at gogated.com. But I would recommend instead that you call or email and tell me what you're looking for. Let me send you a list of all the homes that can meet your needs in terms of price and location and features. And of course, we're going to be choosing the home and the community that's best for you. Again, as a buyer's agent, I'm on your side, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, looking after your interests, looking to find the best property for you. And I like this house very much. I certainly think that it should be on your list if you're looking for a luxury home in this uh, category. Uh, but we will certainly make every effort to make sure that this is the right one for you by comparing to any and all other houses. David Weekly builds a great house. So we certainly want to talk to him. Um, at the same time, uh, I'm on your side and I will do everything I can to find the right home for you. And again, it doesn't cost you anything more to have me on your side because the price that I, the fee rather, the commission that I earn, it's already in the price of every listed home, including this one. And some people think that, well, perhaps they need to go directly to the seller or directly to the builder and save money. Well, it doesn't work like that. These developers and builders, do not lower the price for you if you don't have an agent. Uh, they know that they expect you to have an agent because before you enter into a contract with anyone, you're going to shop and compare, check out all the area neighborhoods and homes, and then if you come back to sign a contract on building a house, it's after a lot of due diligence. And I'm here to help you do that work, ladies and gentlemen. And it doesn't cost you anything more. To have an agent like myself uh, on your side with 39 years of experience, well, the commission that is in the property is the same as whether or not you have an agent with no experience whatsoever. It's absolutely the same. So it makes it a bit of a no-brainer. Uh, I certainly welcome hearing from you. Would have very much appreciate your call and like to work with you when you're ready to find the right home and community. And that usually begins with a correspondence where you call or email, let me know who you are and what you're looking for. And then I'll send you a list in a format that will update automatically. And there's absolutely no obligation or cost for that service. And my clients uh, say that it is very valuable to them, really helps them monitor their personal real estate markets very, very well. So thank you for watching this video. I've really enjoyed showing you this home. Uh, it's it's uh, quite, uh, quite, a, quite a beautiful house on the inside and there's nothing like a new house. Uh, most of my buyers are looking for new or almost new if they can get it. Well, I certainly hope that uh, you can get this one. It is still available. Again, it's October 5th, 2014 here in Hampton Hall, a beautiful community. Thank you again. Please call me. Let's work together to find the right home and community for you.